Will, Boom. how you doing? How you guys doing? Yeah, we're doing great. Uh, congratulations on? on everything. I mean, everyone uh, seems to be on a tear. Uh, For those that don't know, uh, yeah. Will created artificial intelligence. Yes, that's right. Uh, hand hand built. Yeah, actually. he's on that. Didn't he's he's, a, he's an author of that paper, artificial intelligence. Yeah, how it's done. <laughs> Come on, and invented the transformer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The transformer. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Do you want to give a little bit of overview of like what you actually do day to day? I think that'd be interesting. Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, um, I joined OpenAI like a, two years ago, mm -hmm. uh, have like a startup background, but um, worked on like VideoGen for a while, worked on Sora for about a year. Yeah. And then I work on like RL post training, ChatGPT stuff. So Cool. Uh, how did you process the uh, Studio Ghibli moment? Was that expected? Did you, And I really want to know, did you, how internally, did you think that that images in ChatGPT was going to go viral and you didn't know what the prompt would be? Or were you like, they're, everyone's going to give. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know where Ghibli's flying around yeah, for 48 yeah, yeah, hours yeah, yeah, ahead yeah. of ahead in, in Slack. <laughs> give us, that give us like? some secrets here. Yeah, I mean, I've honestly like I, I was very bullish on this. I think we like definitely under provisioned GPUs. I was surprised our team predicted like less traffic than we should have expected. Um, yeah, I think the thing that I was thinking about the whole time is that like, I mean, I was walking around uh, SF and some of these like nail salons have like clearly Dolly three generated like mm. image fronts or whatever that is, right? Yeah. And I didn't think it was clear to me that like pretty much every business in the world very soon is just going to use this to like, you know, make logos and, you know, we can do transparency, we can do controllability. I think like my favorite eval is the Fiverr eval or just go on Fiverr and count how many oh, of yeah. these things you can automate. And like, yep. this takes off like a lot of those things. <laughs> um, and hopefully there's a lot of new things as well that this creates, but I just think of like total utility to the world is just massive. And yeah. Have you thought about why it was Studio Ghibli in like precisely because you could do Simpsons, you could do South Park, but there was something about the anime style of Studio Ghibli that was like it kept enough of the human in there. It didn't just become a completely generic stick I mean, figure. To me, I'll, but I'll it also was front running. It's like it was a magical experience. You yeah. needed no, you you needed to do nothing to prompt it. Yeah. Just you could. I I love that you could misspell Ghibli yeah, and still, still get a perfect it. output. It's great. And then the output was just magical. I would I would I would you know generate the same image with four different styles yeah. of art and the Ghibli one every single time. Felt, it, just, it just felt, felt magical. like the, the underlying but, uh, image. But, well, but, yeah, but, what was your take on it? No, yeah, that sounds about right to me. I, I don't think I predicted Ghibli specifically. Uh, mm -hmm. Last time for the Dolly 3 launch, they made a bunch of Pepe's and that was the thing that really went off. But <laughs> Interesting. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I remember, I mean, for a while, the, the, the version one of uh, image generation, it felt very art station informed. It felt very like sci-fi dystopia. Like it was really good at those, but people weren't really doing, I mean, there were, there, there were certain like, you know, anime styles, but this one was just, uh, was just yeah. everywhere. Um, yeah. w w what else? Can you talk about, um, like to me, to me, the most, like the, the thing that's most exciting for me is like, uh, the Ghibliification of everything, mm -hmm. right? It's like on a long enough time horizon, like everything is Ghibli, right? <laughs> it's just sort of abundant and like very free. And, uh, if you thought even a year ago that you would have this sort of like anybody could instantly basically for free, get this mm -hmm. sort of beautiful hand drawn anime style artwork that historically and you know, somebody else posted about this, but you know, there'd be like a four second scene in Spirited Away that was like, that took a year and a yeah. half to generate, right? And yeah. so like to take something that's just so time intensive, so expensive, and then make it free and abundant is so powerful. And and to me, that is, that's why when, when I think about everything that's happening in sort of politics and tech drama and everything like that, and then I, and then I think about like, we're moving towards like, everything being Ghibli. Yeah. Oh, it it's like everything today feels like a, d a distraction. Is that sort of like how you guys, like as a team stay focused with an open AI, which is just like, hey, there's gonna be a lot of noise. There's gonna be like, you know, this benchmark today, th that release over here. And it's like, we're, we're, we're sort of moving towards this like future target. Yeah, uh, that's sort of a ramble, but, but I'm curious how you think about sort of yeah, I think OpenAI is extraordinarily focused on, on like real progress. I think, you know, um, I mean, like for so long, like, you know, you see the diffusion models, they can't spell and like it takes us like two years. There's no Dolly update. And then finally we come out with this and it's not for no reason. Right. I think like um, people who are focused on like really like what is what is pushing the frontier forward and like what's actually the next evolution of this technology. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think there's a lot of potential here. I think 
I'm actually not sure what the image gen team thinks about like what the next steps are here. I think their view is mostly about like making this like truly useful. Like, can we go from diffusion's a fun tool toy to like this is like a truly useful tool in the world? And like clearly, it's already having that impact. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you said your, your your backgrounds in startups. Can you talk a little bit about um, just being a consumer tech company now and like the focus on product and some of the product decisions like uh, images in ChatGPT? It's not a separate app like Sora. That seems intentional. Um, how are you thinking about product development? What are the strategies? How much feedback are you doing? Are you just testing stuff internally? Are there A/B tests running? Is this secretly running in India six months before we get it here? Uh, yeah. Like, wh how do you inform product decisions? Yeah, totally. I mean, I think it's hard to pre-launch models because they create so much noise. But totally. um, so we don't really test them. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I guess like we'll uh, do it live. Yeah, OpenAI has moved from being a research company to a deployment company over time, and, and yep. we're still in the middle of that kind of, you know, we're doing both. And, and I think we're just doing a lot more deployment than they ever had in the past. So I think people are very motivated around like, how do you actually make this thing useful? How do you deploy into the world? Um, I think it's really cool to be in a position where like, we can launch new products that are completely unlike anything people use ChatGPT today for, and people are so receptive to them. Like it's so like, you know, I, I don't know. I think it's hard to get product market fit and get people to kind of try new products, but to have this like kind of all in one AI thing where we can try deep research, we can throw out image gen and people are just excited to try it out and like see if it works for them. It's just like so rare to find. Yeah. Are you excited? Uh, like one of the things that I felt like really worked with images in ChatGPT was like, I could go to my camera roll, click share, share it into ChatGPT, type Studio Ghibli style, and boom, it gets it. And it takes the, the, it takes the, the, the pain of inspiration out of the process. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if you're looking at ways to create those magical, easy to generate moments. I remember Mid Journey was talking about this too, where like part of why Mid Journey worked was if you just give someone a text box, they'll just be like cat. And it'll be like, okay, that's a picture of a cat. But if you show the mid journey and it's like the discord and it's all these different ideas, then they can spin off that. Um, how do you think about giving the user really setting them up for success in the context of Sora? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think generally, like, it's just very difficult of a problem. Like, I think yeah. it's, it's one of the most biggest things we're thinking about right now, which is like when you open chat and you get dropped in a text box and like yep. the average person has no, no idea how to use it. Yep. Um, I think, I mean, we have a lot of views on how to do this. I think personally, the thing I'm most excited about is that like, I think the, if we're talking about like, what is the like dolly to image gen, what is the like, you know, kind of whatever each evolution of, of, of like the next kind of order of magnitude. Mm -hmm. um, I do think the, the, the long-term thing that's extremely exciting is just like maximizing personalization, super long context. The model knows who you are. The model can follow up being like, hey, by the way, I've seen you doing this. Do you want to try a anime style image? Or, you know, like maybe create things for you with proactive, like, I think there's a lot to do on like kind of, yeah, moving the agency away from you into the product as, as well, yeah. You yeah. call yourself a master of slop, <laughs> uh, which is a great line. But uh, does slop even exist in five years? When I when people were saying, oh, the timeline's all slop on the Ghibli moment, I was like, this is not slop, everybody. <laughs> this is this is fantastic. Yeah, in fact, and I would so, argue so, that the raging so would, politics was slop. Yeah, we yeah, were yeah, free yeah, of slop. It was we're, the first day that the timeline was free of slop. No, but it, but, it, but it seems like the trajectory that we're on it's like eventually like you have to pr try to intentionally prompt it and say like, make me an image that's like the image gen outputs from 2022. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, they've got six fingers and it's the yeah, hand yeah, is yeah, connected yeah. to the body. I want a vintage like, Dolly yeah. one, give <laughs> yeah. me the Dolly one. But like what happens, like it, I, I feel like we're in the slop, the slop era feels like it's coming to an end. It's like right? the word you're not going to be, you're not going to be an image model that's constantly producing slop that yep. is getting funding going forward, yeah, right? that's a good like point. you have like a new bar has been set. Depends what you mean by slop. I, I feel like I went to the, I went to a, the SF MoMA recently and like half of it felt like slop. And I think there's kind of <laughs> like, I mean, like, half of it did not to be clear, but I think a friend of mine always quotes that like, you know, art is like the search for the periphery. Like you're kind of like constantly looking, you know, kind of inventing or pushing something forward or whatever that is. And, you know, I don't know, like once things get played out, they get boring, like they get cringe, they get slop, right? Like, I don't know, I think maybe the problem is that humans are slop and not that the models are slop, right? Yeah, that's a good point. Uh, are you worried for college students today that have access to these tools and making sure they actually learn how to do things like writing, which is, as we know, associated with thinking? You know, if you can't write well, then uh, I, I just, you know, the models are yeah. getting better. It's less obvious that I'm seeing something I mean, that's output. When I was know, in college, if I had this tool, I would have aced my Studio Ghibli animation course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And AP Bio. And remember? AP Bio. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which I did no, not I'm, do. No, well I'm in. curious. Like, you know, 
how 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 do you think universities like and, and just oh. curriculum yeah, future adapt? of learning yeah I'm extremely worried I, I think the world just gets a lot more extreme and i think this is just true with ai across the board where like i think the bottom percentile of students are just going to get a lot they're going to fall behind and i think the top percentile of students are just going to get like extremely overpowered um i think if i had this tool as a kid i would just be like vastly smarter than i am now like even now today like i just talk to ChatGPT every day i was like you know asking it random concepts like learning random things i'm like went super down like deep down like a bio rabbit hole yesterday and like rare supplements i could take from the internet you know and like i don't know this is like i think it's like an incredible tool for learning but yeah i think it's like it's kind of bimodal right i think like a lot of people are gonna get a lot dumber i think a lot of people are gonna get smarter um yeah. i don't know what to do about that but yeah fine-tuned on Gwern. how's your uh how's your experiment where you just text a number to post going Oh no, it's going to make me like way more radical because then I just like send something, I forget about it. And then I check again. <laughs> well, uh, are you going to, would you, you recommend it to someone fighting brain rot? Yeah, totally. I mean, I think also like it, I think the problem with tweeting nowadays is it's not, not as fun once you have more than like 3000 followers because then there's risk and then you're yeah. like, oh, now I gotta care if people are mad at me or something. And, yeah. and so just, or even just seeing the numbers and being like, oh, like this one didn't do as well as the rest. Like it's no, you know, you know, I, you know, from the first 60 impressions, if it's a banger or yeah, not, and then yeah, you have this brutal. desire. Uh, I had a, I had a post yeah. last night that like, I, like John and I both thought was like hilarious, <laughs> but like. I, I realized that like nobody like really got it. You needed to know, you needed to have like read Ben Thompson's like Friday article to like <laughs> yeah, get yeah. the joke. <laughs> it was, this it was Tam was too tam, small. Yeah. Low Tam. Um, but, but anyways, uh, you got anything else, John? This, no, this no, was fun. no, no, no. Congrats. Great it, it was fun. We, you know, for the record, we, we didn't plan this around the, the fundraising news. No. Uh, we just wanted to chat. So congrats to, to you and the yeah. whole team on a, on a cool milestone and job's not finished. So, job's not finished. Uh, right. Make, Get please, back to work. Please make the model better. You know, <laughs> make it better. <laughs> this was this was just you talking to customers. Yeah, so. yeah. This is customer. We enjoyed it. Anyway, yeah. okay, sounds good. See you guys. Cheers. Great seeing See you. ya. Talk to you soon.